Good afternoon, everybody. Today is July 19th, and this morning when I woke up uh, on my phone, the song, You Hold It All Together by Upper Room came up, and a lot of times the Lord just puts the most perfect song that I've never heard on on my feed, and this morning that song was all about how He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, how he's behind us and before us and right here in the middle with us, holding it all in his hand. All the things we've been talking about. I didn't even know there was a song about such things. So that was amazing. And I just thanked him for that worship song this morning. And I'm going to put that in the description box in case any of you want to hear that and worship to that. So I just thanked him for being so faithful. And he also gave me a lot of revelation last night about a dream <clears throat> That's been on my mind for quite some time, and he, he revealed the meeting to me. So I was just praising him for that, how faithful he's, he is to fulfill all the promises that he's made to me. He says, Melissa, my child, today we will begin to walk to the new place together. You are going to see me there too. Listen to me. I am leading you this morning. Do not fear, my child. I am going to show you new things, and we are going to journey on. Melissa, today the days come... I'm sorry, Melissa, today the days to come begin. I'm going to begin the new season, and the lost will return to my love. I'm going to destroy idols and burn false gods. I'm going to begin the season, and the world will know. Please do not wander right now. Stay with me, child. Melissa, the greatest show the world has ever seen is about to begin. There isn't any more time. It is going to happen. Ready your heart and prepare to see. I'm going to do this. I will begin my work my final quest. It is here. You will know soon that all I have spoken is true. You will see that every everything has been for my purposes. You will see that some have not understood who I am and how, and how I have designed this story from beginning to end. Melissa, the days of old are not like the new day. The days of old are but a shadow of all that I have in store. The days are going to reveal my great power I am mighty to save. I am going to open hearts. They will be unlocked. They will return to my love. Share this with the people who will listen. Tell them to ready their hearts. We have entered into the next season. Melissa, today you will begin to see and feel and understand all that has happened has been preparation for Exodus. You will see that many are not ready and they will need to be made ready. You will see what I have planned for you, and you will get there with my guidance and instruction. Think like this. How many days did it take to bring you to this place, Melissa? How long before you were ready to cry out to me for your deliverance? Melissa, I am going to bring everyone to that place. It will happen, and it will all be for the good of those who love me. I am going to offer eternal rewards for those who are steadfast and do not look back. Melissa, it is here. I know it is hard to imagine what is in store, but I know and I see. Hold on to me. I will guide you to your destinations. Do not fear, my child. I hold it all in my hands, all of it. Every detail of every life, it's all already finished. Walk forward in faith and do not doubt. I will carry you through. You will cross the finish line and you will finish this race. Go now and prepare for your day. Begin a routine schedule again. Seek me daily. Listen for me throughout your days. We are not done. We have just begun. Do not fear. Rest in me. All will be well, daughter. You are mine, and I am yours for all time. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I will not forsake you. I will not fail. I am the Lord God Almighty, and I have spoken these words to you today. Go to them and prepare them for what is to come. And then during the live... Somebody brought up the idea of the ark door shutting, and that was Monday. <clears throat> On Sunday night between the... I didn't look at the clock, unfortunately. I didn't think to do that. <clears throat> I just woke up. It was kind of... I was sleeping, and I was thinking about this first vision that I had. And the vision... This was the very first one. It was a tree. It was a large tree. And in the center of it, around where you would imagine like a heart would be on a tree, there was this glowing gold area, and I was kind of looking at that. And then slowly, more trees came into focus in the background, so it was like a grove of trees. 
And then the strong wind came through and just started shaking the trees until they just started to break apart and fly like just the bark and everything. It just shook from the inside and they just came apart. And then they flew and started making like a, a weaving pattern. And I th thought it was a wall. And you could see all of the individual pieces and then slowly they started to mesh into just one solid wall. And that's that was what the vision was. And I've always thought that it was had to do with Ephesians 2.22 where we're being like built together to be a building where the spirit can live. And I was thinking about that and then all of a sudden I heard this really loud scraping sound and then the sound of a door slamming. And it, it sounded wooden, like a, like a barn door or something. And that woke me up, you know, into a wakeful place. And I said, Abe, did you hear that door slam? What was that scraping sound? I heard a scraping sound and a door slam. And then out of my mouth, I said, the door of the ark has just been closed. And that, I don't even know where that came from. Well, during the live that was brought up, the ark door closing and so I just asked the Lord I said Lord do you want me to share that that vision dream revelation that I just had so he said that he did want me to share that but not until the end and so I just wrote it on the piece of paper at the top so that I didn't forget and I wasn't actually planning on saying anything at this live I was just you know told to be present and asked to be present uh, he wanted us all there and it was awesome because throughout he just would give me a word and it seemed like every time he did it went perfectly with what was being said the timing of it all um it was just really cool and then toward the end it came up again about the ark door closing so i took that as my cue and i asked him and he said yeah to share it so i offered that piece of information and um so i was thinking about that this morning and I said the ark Lord what did that mean what are you willing to tell me about the door of the ark closing on Sunday night Melissa do not fear the ark door represents the safety that surrounds my children they will not have one hair harmed I will carry all of them to safety I said thank you Lord that is beautiful I love you and then he gave me a few verses Psalm 32, the whole chapter with an emphasis on three, I thought. Second Timothy, Second Timothy 3, 1 through 6. Then I heard Barack Obama, satellites, foreign gods, I think, but it might have been foreign affairs. Sing to me, children, be delivered from this world. I heard the word sentiments, forget-me-nots, love affair. And then I got Leviticus 2.14. I spent a lot of time researching that. I'm going to link an interesting article that I found regarding that. And I thought I heard the word measure along with that scripture. Galatians 3.8, 1 John 4.6. Malachi 3, 4, and also 4, 2. Hebrews 6, 8. Genesis 2, 4. Matthew 24, 13. Joshua 5, 6 through 8. Habakkuk 2, 4 through 8. Song of Solomon 2, 4. Then I heard the words, shift your mind, follow my voice, total annihilation, Search the scriptures. I am there. Find me. The hour is here. The hour of trial. Then I heard the word Gregorian and so much work to do. Bye. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope this video finds you well and we'll see you in the next one. God bless you.